everybody, you're tuning in to the premiere episode of GoldenTheYard.com. I am China Lane, I'll be your hostess for the evening. And I'm here with our premiere feature artist of the week, Sean Nelson. That's right, that's right. How you doing today, Sean? Doing good. Now, many of us know you from your breakout role, Fresh. Yeah. Were you 12 years old when you did that? <laughs> nah, I was actually 13 when yeah. I did that, and it came out when I was 14. So what did it take to get the role? How did, did you get the role? And what was it like to play with? Uh, well, I mean, it was the regular audition process to get the role. I hadn't done too much before that. So, you know, I went in, auditioned, and um, I guess they liked what I did. They brought me in again, auditioned again, liked what I did, brought me in again. <laughs> you know, that was like about four callbacks. And then they had me do kind of a test shoot in the end and finally gave me the call that I got the part. So, you know, I was pretty hyped that I got the role and um, I was going to be the lead basically in every scene. So I was feeling pretty good about that. I didn't know it was going to be as big for me as, it, as it's been, you know, because it's opened a lot of doors for me. And I mean, it was just a blessing. Really. Now that was a pretty challenging role, especially for a 13-year-old. You had, you played it with such subtlety, but yet it was so strong. Yeah. So tell me about the like that was going on. Well, I mean, um, I was just really looking at it as, you know, doing my thing. You know, I had an acting coach there that helped me with a lot of stuff because some scenes I felt were difficult, which, you know, with one being the crying scene in the end, I wasn't used to trying to cry on, on the spot, so it took me a little while to get that. Um, a funny story with that is, is that, you know, we, we it's the day of, about to go do my thing, you know, the scene's coming up, so I, I'm, I sit down, and Sam Jackson is sitting across from me in the scene, so, you know, they roll the camera, and it's time for me to cry, and I'm not crying. <laughs> I'm just sitting there trying to cry. So Sam, trying to be helpful, he starts slapping me. <laughs> it's like, oh, it's like, yeah. So I guess he felt like it would make me feel like a sucker or something and cry, but it, it just angry. made me angry. So I wasn't crying. But I mean, he was trying to help. So thanks, Sam. But um, you know, after we cut from that and that, we saw that wasn't working. That you know, the director kind of took me to the side and just told me to kind of think of something that would, you know, bring that out of me. And I. I don't know what I thought about. It was kind of just kind of breathing and stuff. And finally, the second take, you know, just came out of me. Wow. Amazing. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that second is. take. Second take, man. <laughs> Cry, <So>. baby. <laughs> so, I mean, landing your first film with Giancarlo Esposito, Nabucci yeah. Wright, Sam Jackson, um, did they give you any advice during... Um, not really, not really. I mean, I didn't have that much time with Sam on set. I think we had maybe a week of work together, but, you know, I probably just, you know, drew off of what they were doing a little bit. I don't think they really, you know, told me any pointers or anything like that, but it was kind of just being there and kind of learning by just being there and being next to them. Cool. So, another film that you did, that we all know you're from is The Wood. Wood. <laughs> and that was so funny and heartwarming. So tell us about your experience. Well, that, well the wood's a little different from yeah. fresh. I'm not selling drugs in the wood, <laughs> so that was a good thing. But um, that was another film that I had a lot of fun on. It was like maybe my only comedy, if you could call it that, uh, that I ever did. So, you know, it's just kind of being able to branch out and do that a little bit. And um, the other guys, you know, it made it kind of like a... a, a it was like really like that in real life because the other guys are from California, I'm from New York, so I was kind of the new kid anyway. And they kind of took me in just the same way they took me in in the movie. Um, I didn't get in as much trouble offset as I did in the movie, but that's all good. But uh, we had a lot of fun on that one. It was a pleasure working with these those dudes. We didn't really have any scenes with um, Tay Diggs, Omar Epps, and Richard T. Jones. But um, we did our thing first and then we kind of sat down with them and watched some of the stuff we did so they could kind of play off of us and play us older, right. you know, but um, that was another great experience, we did that all in California, Inglewood, California. So how was that, um, so let's translate that to real life, and kind of, you know, being a man, and meeting women, and, you know, kind of, <laughs> do you <laughs> have, um, like, what is your approach, so, you know, you see a nice approach. woman, well, I'm like, shy. I'm real shy. I think I, that so makes... So you are shy like Yeah, character. just like Mike, man. I'm shy. I don't know what to say to ladies, man. So usually they have to come to me. <laughs> and then I'll start, you know, warming oh. up. But um, 
Yeah, I really don't have an approach. I, you know, the shot thing works a lot these yeah, days, man. Does you know, work. it does work, <laughs> depending on what you're looking for. But um, yeah, most of the time I just fall back and let it happen. And what is it that you look for in a woman? Um, well, I mean, you know, just as far as my career, it's kind of like it's kind of hard. Um, Keeping a woman and making sure she's happy and all that, because I'm a lot of times I'm not there all the time. I gotta go, you know, uh, L.A. for work or wherever the job is, and um, you wait for months. And another thing is that you know sometimes you're walking down the street and there's girls coming up to you and they're all over you, and that's all a part of the job. But you know a lot of girls don't understand that, so that's kind of like one of the hard things that come along with the business. When um, you know, you, and then a lot of people don't understand that you are with your girl too. So it's like you can't be all hanging on me, trying to do all crazy stuff. But it's all uh, comes along with the business. And I don't mind it as much. But you know, I know my um, lady friend doesn't like that stuff. Now, how do you keep yourself grounded, and how do you separate that reality from fiction? Well, I just know what it is. You know, just know that it's all. They don't really. I mean, I know that they, you know, appreciate my work, but a lot of people feel like sometimes they really think you are that character right. in that movie. Like, they really think you are fresh. Or uh, another TV movie I did was, uh, a, well, it was a TV series, uh, The Corner. A lot of people think I was DeAndre, but there's a real DeAndre out there. You know, I was just playing him. <laughs> you know, I was just acting. And that's all that is. But a lot of people approach you on that. Oh, what up, DeAndre? Word, you used to do all this, do that, and the third. I'm like, nah, I never sold drugs. None of that. Never been to jail. So that's all that is. But, you know, just people, a lot of people get it confused, you know, the reality. And it's just weird to me, but I don't know. I guess it's easy to get caught up just as a viewer. Right. Now, people think that acting is so easy. You just get on the screen, you say a few lines, and then, you know, you get a fat paycheck. They think that it's so easy. What actually is the difficulty in obtaining such a, an unorthodox career? Mm, well, I think, you know, the, the difficult parts of acting might be the memorization, but it's not really that hard for me because I I guess I was fairly trained enough to, you know, be able to memorize fairly quickly. And um, the other thing is kind of finding the emotions a lot of times. Like I said, with crying and, you know, not so much with anger and, you know, happiness, but just kind of like that, you know, the different emotions and trying to capture it and make it real. That's when the difficulty comes for me. You know, it's like... Um, if you're not feeling sad that day, you know, you got to really try to figure out how you're going to make yourself that way. Or if you're not feeling happy that day, you know, you got to make sure that you uh, get in that mindset. If you got a happy scene, you got to do it. Make it believable. Where have you studied? Um, nowhere that you would have heard of. <laughs> but, uh, somebody out there has heard somebody of it. Somebody has heard of it. <laughs> but actually, I actually uh, studied with a, a woman called Lola Lewis. And she has a place in the Bronx. She uh, teaches out of her home. So uh, it's called Lola Louie's Performing Arts Studio, or High Pass, uh, which stands for something. I can't remember it right now. But um, there's that memory. I know, right? <laughs> yeah, I'm getting old. I'm getting old. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I studied there when I was a lot younger. I kind of fell into the acting thing, and um, she was kind of the one that pushed me into it. I started out in kindergarten as just a singer, and I used to sing in all these little school plays and stuff. But uh, my parents thought I should learn how to, you know, be able to perform with my singing. So they took me to Lola so I could learn how to play the piano, take some vocal classes, um, take some dance classes, and um, just take some acting classes, too. And um, I took all these classes, was doing all this stuff, and Lola kind of just pushed me into, like, doing more of the acting. She had this play that she did every year. It was called The Children's Legacy. And anybody that came to her for, like, any class was going to end up in this play. So she got me in the play, and I was doing my acting thing. And it kind of just developed, like, I developed this love for it. And she kind of was like, you know, you, could, you should go out there and try to see what you can do. So, you know, I, I did a lot of plays outside of her, her, her um, studio. Did a lot of non-paying stuff to begin with. Did a lot of musical theater. And I got my first break when I was 10 in an off roadway play called Hey Little Walter. And uh, after that, it was like, this is what I want to do. I'm getting paid for just having fun, kind of, you know. So, you know, got myself an agent, and it just kept the ball rolling after that. 